What's going on? Welcome back to another normal baseball podcast. We've got the first one of the season. A lot has happened. Let's talk about it. The intro didn't work. <laughs> the intro didn't work. We're going man. <laughs> season um it's been fun so far we are only a week into it however it has been very fun yeah you can say that again i mean there's so much baseball i could not be happier uh it definitely makes the off season worth it with how much fun the season has been in just the first week basically yeah yeah um so what we're gonna do is, well, today's Easter, so we'll start with that. Uh, happy Easter to those who celebrate. Um, I'm going to be building this this chicken coop house throughout the episode um, just to celebrate. Um, but, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over all the games from the day. So, like, we're going to start with opening day or whatever day was the last day we did the podcast. So, like, next episode we're going to start with today, Easter. Um We're going to start with that day. We're going to go through all the games, kind of what happened, um, go day by day just doing that. Then, after we do that, which shouldn't take too long, we'll do how individual players did and how teams are looking and kind of like just the normal, we're just going to talk. But first, we have to go through the games and let everyone know what happened, you know? Yeah, let's do it. All right, yeah, let's go. So, we're going to start with opening day. Um, How are you feeling about opening day? Did you enjoy opening day? I enjoyed it. I mean, we saw some upsets. We saw some... Very convincing victories. We saw good signs to come. We saw a little bit of concern from some other teams. But all in all, I think it was a great uh, opening day, meaning on Thursday. Obviously, the Yankees got postponed against the Red Sox. And the Twins and Mariners also got postponed. Yeah, I mean, the postponements are fine. You're still going to have opening day. And that's also why they leave the day after, like, open. Yeah. Just for those kind of reasons. Um, what? Don't open that glitter on the couch. Oh, I won't. <laughs> um, so I thought it was fine, but let's, let's, let's go through the games. Let's go through what, what happened. I mean, the first game, very exciting. Cubs, uh, Brewers. That, yeah. that was fun. It was oh. more fun because of the energy. And yeah. it was like first pitch of the season after the fucking lockout and all that. Um, Like, just exciting, you know? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, and the Cubs are a interesting team to watch this season. So, I definitely... so far. I was sat down. I was watching most of this game. Uh, Nico Horner, I think, had had the the first first home run. run. And the fan who caught it was more excited than him, actually. Oh, yeah, I saw that. the first home run. That was cool. Um, What's his name? The starting pitcher for the Cubs. Absolutely. Kyle Hendricks. Yeah, Kyle Hendricks. He was pretty good. I I enjoy watching him Well, Kyle Hendricks, he went, let's see, well, Kyle Hendricks went five and thirds innings pitch, seven strikeouts, one earned run. He did pretty good. It was a good game, too. Um, The Cubs did win 5-4, and yeah, that was the first game. We should just get to the next game, because it's going to take way too long if we keep doing it like that. I agree. Um, The Guardians and the Royals played their first game. Of the season. That was the second game of the year. Yeah, Bobby Witt comes through. Was that... Yeah, that was yeah, today. Got... Bobby Witt, uh, double at, late in the game. Uh, Basically to, to the walk, the the go-ahead, the winning run to mm-hmm. come across. I mean, he is a sight to see. I'm looking forward to watching him play out his whole career. Oh, me too. And so far, he's been nice. We'll talk about him later, but I mean, so far, he's been fun to watch as well. Yeah. And the Guardians, they... Look a lot more promising than we would have thought. They, yeah, they really do. Yeah, although like they it. did lose on opening day, they they look promising. Yeah, it's fu- It's just fun to see. Yeah. I like. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just fun to see. And then next up, we have uh, the Houston Astros playing the Los Angeles Angels. Um, the Astros, they're there. They're they're gonna be here. There's uh there's no doubt about it that the Astros are still here. Yeah, but I don't think. There's, I don't think that they're as good as past years. I don't think they're going to be that dominant force. Um, as much as I want to say I hope not, I mean, it, they seem to be. 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not as confident in them as... I, like, in past years, I will admit, I've been like, yeah, this team is probably going to go to the World Series because of just how good they are and the talent they have. But I don't know. This year, I, I just don't see it. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, next up, we have the New York Mets playing the Washington Nationals. Uh, Mets won the game. Yeah, Tyler was, McGill. Tyler is, McGill uh, has been shoving. He's like and the he's next Roger Clemens. Game. Yeah, he's, he's having a really good time. <laughs> yeah, really good start to the season. Nice to see uh, him performing well. And uh, the Washington Nationals, or should I just say Juan Soto and company. Yeah, just Team are Soto. Are kind of there. <laughs> team Soto. They, I mean, they're certainly a team. Um, that's all I really... Have to say. Yeah, they, they, they might be a team. Are they a team? They, they're a team. They're they a team. We can they agree are. on they're that. They're a team. Yeah, clap it up for the team. Washington Nationals are a team in baseball. Um, Yeah, and then we had the, the Reds and the Braves. That was fun. Um, The Braves did lose, though. But it wasn't their ring day. The ring day was the day after, a couple days after, or something like that. Um, Freed uh, got blown up, kind of. Yeah. Which sucks, because I do love Max Freed. Who doesn't? Um, but it's fine. I mean, currently they're, what, they're 5-5, five and five, 500, you know. They'll same be- thing as last year, they'll win the World Series. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then what do we got? The Padres and the Diamondbacks. That was the Seth You forgot Pier- St. Louis. I didn't forget it. <laughs> well, then we have the... You skipped them. Pittsburgh Pirates playing the St. Louis Cardinals at home. Um, Cardinals showed why they are a, uh... A team to be taken seriously, winning nine nothing. Uh, sure, it's against the Pirates, but hey, everyone counts. Eh, I mean, yes, I do think you should take them seriously. Do I think a win against the Pirates proves that? No. Uh, you never know. No, not at all. That's former, um, former champions, Pirates. Yeah, it's like 1950. <laughs> they are 500. So, um, but yeah, then, then we got San Diego and Arizona ended off the night. Uh, Seth Beer walk off on National Beer Day. Yeah. To walk round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause for Seth Beer. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that was opening day. Yeah. Opening day was a lot of fun. Certainly was. The day after opening day, a lot lot went down. A lot went down. Oh yeah. Uh, Yankees Red Sox played. Josh Donaldson walk off. Yeah, we were there. Go check out the vlog. The vlog from from the. The Yankees opening day. The Yankees opening day is on YouTube. Um, then we had the White Sox and Tigers. That was the Javi Baez walk off. His first game as a Tiger. So that's fun. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> what is? Was it not fun? It, it was pretty fun. It was yeah, pretty fun. There it is. And we got Oakland and the Phillies. Uh, Phillies won. That's all I really have to say. Um, Baltimore and Tampa. Tampa won. The Rays are the Rays. Um, but to be fair, the Orioles are also the Orioles. So I, I wouldn't call that impressive. Uh, um, I, I agree. The Dodgers beat the Rockies. Who would have thunk? Well, the Rockies <laughs> are pretty good. Um, Dodgers beat the Rockies 5-3. They're having a good time. Bueller did his thing. Uh, the Rockies made some mistakes. But, Can you know. say that again. Uh, the Mariners beat the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Robbie Ray had his way. Robbie Ray had his way on opening day. Oh, look at you go. Damn. Don't like one. Uh, seven innings pitched, five strikeouts, one earned run for Robbie Ray. I mean, can't lo- can't not love it. I mean, was the Cy Young season a fluke? No. He's going to keep dealing like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Max Scherzer, his first start as a Met, went six innings pitched, three earned runs, which is not the dominant start I think Mets fans were looking for, but not terrible. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, they won 7-3, to three, so how are you, you can't really complain about a loss. I mean, you you can, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. you shouldn't. Agreed. Um, Especially this early in the season. Yeah. Uh, Texas and Toronto, game of the year candidate on their opening day feels like it was it. an insane game. I mean, the Blue Jays were down seven nothing at one point. They came back, they scored seven runs in three innings, and they wound up winning the game eight ten to eight. Um, it was crazy. That was the Teoscar Hernandez bomb that put them back in the game. Oh. I love Teoscar. He's so underrated. Yeah, it, it's it, it was definitely an exciting game. I mean, it was just too. 
highly, highly powered offenses just going back and forth all game. And they did even have, at one point, the new video review uh, with the umpire making the call to the entire packed out house, <laughs> which was a lot of fun. But all in all, that was, I mean, definitely an early game of the year candidate. For sure. And, uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot better games probably, but that is insane for the beginning of the year. Um, then we got Atlanta and Cincinnati again, obviously. These series are all going to be the same. I mean, there's, I think, two series per video probably. Um, Charlie Morton starts for Charlie the first Morton. time since that World Series game where he fractured his leg and still struck out Jose Altuve. Um you know, the Braves won. It was a close game, though. A lot closer. The Braves were up 6-0. The Braves were up 7 nothing actually. And and the final score was 7-6. So, a lot closer than they thought it was going to be. Yeah, it came down to the wire. Hey, but they won. So, they at the end of the day, that's good for them. Win's a win. Um, Houston beat down on the Angels. The Houston baseball team. 13-6. Uh, <laughs> to six. Um... Jake Odorizzi started, only gave up two earned runs. The the Angels, when you look at the pitcher, pitchers they use in this game, just just not good. So, um, you know, I believe it is what I'm trying to say. Fair enough. And then the uh, Padres got their first one of the season against the Diamondbacks because the Diamondbacks are the Diamondbacks. Uh, jerks and Profar, Homer, that's all they really needed to run Homer. They didn't score anyway. It was 3 nothing. So yeah, that was that was like opening day 2.0 because a lot of the teams did open. Uh, yeah. The day after. It was um another of course great day in baseball. It was a lot of um especially for the teams that were playing their second game of the season. It was a lot of like feeling out more and it looked like you could kind of tell who was uh benefiting and who was not benefiting from signing type of deal. Mm-hmm. You could tell, I mean, uh, of course it's very early in the season, but still, I, I think um, you could kind of figure that one out a little bit, and you could tell who felt really comfortable, who had been practicing all off season, and who hadn't. Well, speaking of practicing all off season, we'll get to that eventually. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. It, it was fun. I, I was I was like on a drive uh, upstate New York, Um and I remember getting to the house, like, where we were going, and it was, like, 10.30, and I just see the Blue Jays game, and I'm, I was watching the Blue Jays game, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, this is baseball. Yeah. That's the definition of baseball. Without a doubt. All right, Saturday, April 9th. You want to you wanna go for it? Yeah. I'll... Oh, wait, we didn't talk about Marlins-Giants. Marlins lost to the Giants. Unfortunately. <laughs> 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 Marlins lost to the Giants, unfortunately, uh, 9-5. to That's all I have to say on the matter. 6-5. Uh, to uh, That's all I have to say on the matter. The yeah. Giants walked off, I'm pretty sure. I believe so. All right, you want to run through Saturday? Yeah, I'll take care of it. So, uh, Boston, New York played once again in the Bronx. Yankees were able to squeak out a victory there, winning over the Red Sox 2-4. to 4-2. to I don't know why I said it backwards. Yeah, I was like, what? Uh, then we had Tampa playing the Baltimore Orioles. No shock there that Tampa Bay walked out with a otherwise convincing victory, although the box score does not show it. Tampa looked just to be the better team the entire game. Uh, the Padres, again, beat down on the Arizona Diamondbacks, winning 5-2. to two. This game was interesting because it felt like everybody on the Padres lineup just was there and like ready to just go and do it all type of deal like they all looked very team oriented mm. which was interesting because when they get fernando back if they're gonna have that same mindset they i mean they ain't gonna be team oriented when fernando comes back because <laughs> fernando's gonna be fernando oriented <laughs> and then I don't know, maybe we had the uh the braves playing the reds once again where the braves took home a 2-1 victory however again another one of those where the box store doesn't tell the whole story the braves although they only won two to one were dominant for the most part the Cubs uh, really handed it to their a- NL Central rival, Milwaukee Brewers, winning nine to nothing, which was a, a good those, game. I love those big, uh, like no one really expected the Cubs to win nine nothing over the Brewers on the sec- on the third game of the season. Yeah, <laughs> Cubs. Did they? The Cubs. 
Yeah, they, the first, the second game of the season. Yeah. No one expected the Brewers to go zero and two to start the year. Say that again. Uh, no one expected the Brewers to go zero and two to start the year. <laughs> the White Sox uh, beat the Detroit Tigers five to two. Uh, Dylan Cease looked very promising. I think uh, they'll be able to handle some of their some of their their losses to their pitching staff early. If Dylan Cease is going to pitch like that, uh, Guardians able, lost to the Kansas City Royals one to nothing. Uh, that's a terrible loss. Yeah, on a walk off, nonetheless, it was zero zero the entire game. It was going back and forth. Just keep going. <laughs> back and forth. Uh, Houston Astros taking their first loss of the season to the Angels. In a 2-0 loss, Syndergaard uh, did not look as syndergaard as we last remember him in a Mets uniform. I think he looked syndergaard But he looked good. He didn't have all of his fastball there. He didn't have all the break that we He just saw. wasn't striking guys out. And from what we've seen, like, and even in his second start, he only struck out two batters. I mean, left four batters, I think. It was last night. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's that much of a worry. Yeah, I, I can definitely agree with you. And then the Marlins streaking out their first win over the San Francisco Giants, 2-1. to one. Good game. Very good game. I think the... Oh, gosh, I just put it in. That is my phone ringing. Giants, Marlins. Uh, that was a fun game. It was close. Um, the Marlins bullpen really got it done for them. And was this the game Sandy Alcantara start? No, Pablo Lopez. I mean, six strikeouts, five innings, one earned run. And then from there, the bullpen did their job. So that's what they needed. Um, and the Marlins were able to get to Jake McGee. Um, I believe it was Jazz who gave them the lead. I think so. No, Jesus Sanchez. Hmm. But um, fun game. Fun games, regardless. Yeah. Um, you want to keep going where you were? Yeah, sure. Then uh, the Seattle Mariners... Taking a 2-0 series lead over the Minnesota Twins. Twins fall to 0-2. All in all, this Twins team looked a lot less promising than the Seattle Mariners team looked promising type of deal. Like, I think I that, get that. Yeah, I get that. The, the Mariners have less to work on compared to the Twins. The Twins are, are weird because, like, on paper they have, like, a really good team, but their pitching just, like, really isn't as good as... It could be if they made the right moves, but yeah, they, their main concern was Correa. And, I mean, they got him, but he's probably going to walk after this year if they don't do good. So, yeah, they, they got a lot of pressure. And they just lost Byron Buxton for a week. So, yeah. not on the IL, but they lost him for a week. And then we have the Mets pulling off the sweep against the Washington Nationals, 5 nothing. I mean, Chris Bassett looked very comfortable pitching in a Mets uniform and everything, which was good to see. Excited to see what he does throughout the season. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna be himself. Yeah, and he's been really good so far. Then the Phillies beat up on the Oakland Athletics. The, who? the Oakland Athletics. Okay, okay, yeah, I do know who that is. Yeah, winning four to two. Um, again, another one of those box score doesn't really show you the game. The Phillies looked to be in control, although it was only four to two. The final score. Four to two. Uh, Pittsburgh falling to the St. Louis Cardinals again, six to two. I mean, I'm kind of really high on the St. Louis Cardinals. I think that they're a team to watch. It's hard not to be. Yeah, and they just look exciting, and I think that they're a type of team that thrives off of just seeing that they won the ball game. It doesn't really matter against who. It's a team effort. Yeah, it's it's a very big team effort in St. Louis. And then, I mean, a series to watch for the upcoming season is the Rangers and the Blue Jays. Blue Jays took this one three to four. But four the to ra- three. Oh, yeah. Four to three. Sorry. <laughs> you keep saying them backwards. Yeah. But uh, the Rangers look to have a very, very high-powered offense. It's going to be scary to see what happens when they get going. Well, I mean, we'll get to it, but, I mean, they got Barry Bonds on their team, apparently. <laughs> um, was that it for that day? That is it for Saturday. All right. Well, to Sunday, April 10th. Um, a full slate of games, 15 games. I'll do this one. Um, we got the Red Sox and the Yankees. As, you know, as they do. Per usual. And this was the... Was this the Sunday night game? Yes. yes this was, this the was a Sunday night baseball game. Um, Kike Hernandez mic'd up. A couple of questionable moves from the uh, the Jankies. Um, <laughs> but it was close. 4-3. to three. Final score. Red Sox win their first of the year. Um, good for them. Um, the Marlins and the Giants faced off. 
Uh, the Giants walked off on the Marlins, I think. Did they walk off, or was it... Giants? No, no, no. This was... Oh, yeah. This was the game where, after the fourth inning, there was no scoring. Oh. And it was 2-3. to three, Or 3-2, to two, rather. Um, <laughs> but the Giants took that one. Uh, the Oakland Athletics beat the Phillies um, in a game where just the Phillies didn't have it. It was kind of quite obvious. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, Dalton Jeffries had it for the for the the uh, A's. He pitched five innings, uh, two strikeouts, no earned runs though, so strikeouts don't really matter. Zach Eflin uh, didn't really. No, Zach Eflin had it. Their bullpen didn't have it, which was. Big problem last year, and if it carries over this year, it's going to be big trouble for them, honestly. Yeah. Um, then we got the Rays, 8 nothing against the, the Orioles. Is there really much else to say? What did we expect? Um, the White Sox, 10-1 to over the Tigers, which, a, a little shocker. I didn't expect a blowout to be in this game, um, but it is what it is. Um, was this the game that, what game was this? Which game was this? I feel like someone had two homers in this game. No. Um, the Mets beat, uh, lost to the Nationals, their first loss of the year. Um, Nelson Cruz came up big. He hit his 450th home run, and he also had the game-winning two RBIs. Uh, yeah. Father Time is not able to catch up to speedster Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz simply will never age. Yeah, I He'll age, that. but he'll never stop playing baseball. Yeah, he'll always be a DH somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Especially Whether... with the National League now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else we got? We got the Reds beat the Braves 6-3 to three on the day that the Braves got their World Series rings. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I would have bet my life on the Braves losing that game. The high of just, hey, look, we got our championship ring. Like, you know, who cares? We did it. <laughs> you know? Eh. They didn't really. Uh, of course, they go out there and try to compete every day. But I also think, you know, eh. Well, this was Hunter Green's first game, and Hunter Green's first major league start went five innings, struck out seven Braves. I mean, three earned runs. He pointed at two home runs. Yeah. But um. Very Edwin Diaz like. That's fine. I mean, he he got the win. The yeah. win is in the books. Seven strikeouts. He was throwing over a hundred miles an hour. Beautiful. And then, like you said, the series to watch: Texas and Toronto. Uh, the Rangers won this one, first of the year, twelve to six. Um. It, it it's gonna be a good series. They play play one more series, I believe, which would be in Texas. Um, but it's all it's always seeming to be back and forth. Like the Blue Jays were up six nothing at the beginning of this game, and and they they lost twelve to six. Yeah, because so, I, I think that these teams are very equal in the sense of or they're up six one. Yeah, these but, teams are very equal in the sense of they both have the firepower if they really wanted to hang a football score on any team that they play. But also, their bullpens are the thing that they both really need to work on more than anything. Like, the pitching, the starting pitching will eventually get there, but it's the bullpens for both teams that are going to... The Blue Jays don't have a bad bullpen. They don't have a bad bullpen, but it's not a great bullpen for what I people think it's are calling a World Series contender. I disagree. I think it's a pretty great bullpen. They got Jordan Romano, who has the record for most consecutive saves on the like Blue Jays franchise history. I still think he has the record. I think he's just adding to it right now. I believe so. Um, then we got the, the Guardians uh, beat the Royals for their first one of the season, 17-3. to um, This was just kind of a bloodbath. I turned it off after a while because yeah. we, like, we get it. You can score. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, it's kind of... It was a beatdown. This was the day Coming where first. Stephen Kwan submitted his legacy in the Hall of Fame. Um Stephen Kwan, 5-for-5, five five, um, no RBIs, no nothing. But he went 5-for-5, five five and he's Stephen Kwan, so who yeah. really... Well, at Stephen that point, Barry Bonds Kwan. Stephen Barry Bonds Kwan. Um, he's always been here. The rookie. <laughs> always been here. <laughs> um, but yeah, Stephen Kwan is a big story. We'll talk about him more. Uh, the Mariners and the Twins had themselves a day. Um, the Twins hit six home runs in this game, including back-to-back. Uh, or no, Buxton and Correa. Buxton had two, I believe, in this game. Gary Sanchez had a grand slam. I dare you, man. He's scary. Um, <laughs> Kepler homered, Polanco homered, Correa homered. Like, all their guys. 
were doing good. All their guys were hitting. Fun to watch. The Pirates beat the Cardinals. Who would have thunk? 9-4. to four. Um, four RBIs from Michael Chavis. And those four RBIs was a grand slam. And that's what won them the game. So, Michael Chavis. Um, the Brewers beat the Cubs again. Uh, tied the series at two a piece. Oh no, I take that back. It was the third game. It was one to two. Uh, so wait, <laughs> they were they were one and two at that point. They got their first win of the year, five to four. Josh Hader and Devin Williams in the same bullpen is more and more unfair every day. Yeah. Um, kind of crazy. Uh, the Rockies beat the Dodgers Get in the first series of the year, nine to four. Dodgers went home with a losing record. Well, they didn't go home, but they left the first series of the year with a losing record. Um, Which is crazy because the Dodgers, with how super-powered their team is, it feels like every time they play, they should win. You know, so Well, because that team on paper, that team on paper, no matter what lineup they throw out, you're like, yeah, that's they're probably going to win. Yeah, they're probably going to win. <laughs> and then, like, that's a, a, a terrifying feeling. Yeah, without a doubt. I'm so glad that the Yankees aren't in... The Dodgers division. Yeah, the NL West. You know, the, the NL West New York is good. Yankees are not in the West. What? Okay, so well, I said, thank God they're not in the, their division. Yeah, thank God that the Yankees aren't in the NL West. Yeah, that's, that's what I just said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Put her there. I agree. Um, then what we got next? We got Astros four to one. Over the uh, the the Angels, no surprise. Yeah. They're the Angels. Uh, oh, and then the Padres, 10-5 to 5 over the Diamondbacks. Um, fun. Fun times. Jerks and Profar. Slam Diego. The Slam Diego team. I knew you were going to say that, and that's why I didn't want to say that he hit, hit a grand slam. Um, yeah. That was it for, uh, for, for, for that baseball. day. Sunday night baseball, Sunday day baseball. You know how it is. Um, I apparently know how it is now. No, you do. You do know how. Fair I'm right. telling you, yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, I, know. I know. You know how you know, it is. You know, I know how it is. So, <laughs> then we'll transition over to Monday. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays put the beat down on the Yankees, winning three nothing. The Brewers lost to the Orioles, giving the Orioles the first one of their season. Two nothing. Orioles take the win. When when that happened, Brewers fans like were off the. Off the walls for literally no reason. It was to like the first loss of the season. They were acting like the season was over. Yeah. From what I saw. Um, so Brewers fans, chill. Yeah. Uh, the Red Sox went into Detroit and lost the 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 series opener to the Tigers, losing uh three to one. It was, that was a good game to watch. The Washington Nationals hung an 11-run game on the world champion Atlanta Braves. That was crazy. The Washington Nationals take away an 11-2 victory over the Braves where the Braves just looked like they didn't want to play baseball that day. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Mm. I think it got to a point that, yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't think coming in. They were no, like... not, not coming in, but that's what it looked like during the game. Uh, the Guardians uh, were able to streak out a win over the Royals. Winning ten to seven, that was a very good game to watch. The Colorado Rockies played the Texas Rangers, and the Rockies won six to four. Well, the Rockies. The Rockies are World Series contenders. All right. Well, <laughs> we, we went there. He went there. He went there. I didn't go there. He went there. The Miami Marlins started their se- their series against the Los Angeles Angels. The Angels won, uh, winning six to two. Michael Lorenzen pitched. I love seeing Michael Lorenzo. Yeah, pitch. he's not that really was fun. a two-way player. Almost. He doesn't play on the him other. and Shohei are no, like no. He one doesn't and two. play on the other days. I'd say Brett Phillips is more of a two-way player than yeah. That's that's fair. Than that's Michael Lorenzo. Uh, the Seattle Mariners and Minnesota Twins finished out their four-game series. The Twins took the victory there, winning four nothing, splitting the series with the Mariners for right now. The for, Mets for right now. The Mets blow a huge lead. To the Philadelphia Phillies losing five to four in Citizens Bank Park. Um, Mets fans, I'm sorry if you guys had to watch that. That was heartbreaking. That was heartbreaking. heartbreaking. That. that was heartbreaking. 
The Oakland Athletics played the Tampa Bay Rays in the Trop Dome and won 13-2, to which uh, as, as an avid Rays um, disliker. More, I'm more of an avid, Trop. a- avid Tropicana field hater. Yeah, me too. Uh, was good to see. The Padres started playing the Giants, where the Padres were able to take a victory, winning 4-2 to two over the Giants. All in all, I think that was a very good game to watch because it had just enough of every little thing that it was exciting. Every little thing is going to be going to be all right. Man, no worries. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Was it Tuesday? April 12th. We start off the Blue Jays and the Yankees. Having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Having Yankees. Good time. Shut them out. Four nothing. Yeah. You say Kikuchi. I say Kikuchi. Um, four nothing. Then we're just you know we're gonna go a little faster. All right. Go. The Marlins lost to the Angels three four to three. Um, the Tigers lost to the Red Sox five to three. The Guardians beat the Reds ten to five. The Mariners lost to the White Sox three to two in their first game of the series. The Chicago Cubs beat the Pirates 2-1, 3-1, whoa. The Oakland Athletics lost to the Tampa Bay Rays, Tampa Bay Rays 4-1, gangsta. Um, the Mets shut out the Phillies 2-0, oh my goodness, T- Tyler or McGill, 10 innings pitched, no earned runs, what? Milwaukee Brewers beat up on the, well they didn't beat up, they barely squeaked out a win against the Baltimore <laughs> Orioles, bad sign for the Brewers, fuck the Orioles. <laughs> Oh the God, national, <laughs> the Nationals, a day after destroying the Braves, get destroyed by the Braves, sixteen to four. Ozuna had two home runs. He hit that harder. Um, then we got the Dodgers <laughs> and the Twins, seven to two Dodgers because the Dodgers are the Dodgers. Um, Kansas City Royals, St. Louis Cardinals, having a day. Have yourself a day, Bobby Witt, Jordan Hicks. Um, St. Louis Cardinals win six to five. And then we got the Rockies and the Rangers again. The Rockies win the second game of the series, too. Um, Rangers, you suck. Um, the Astros and the Diamondbacks. The Astros barely squeak out a win against the Diamondbacks. Astros, you also suck. And the Giants clobbered the Padres 13-2. to Thank you. Well, I don't know how I can follow that performance. Um... Well, you're going to have to. I mean, now we're on Wednesday, April 13th. We are on Wednesday, April 13th. Oh, my God. And there were 13 games on the 13th. That's terrifying. All right, so the Yankees fell to the Blue Jays, losing 6-4. to four. Orioles lost to the Brewers, 4-2. to two. Uh, Brewers, come on, step it up. You, your offense can score more than that against the Orioles. Uh, Boston, able to take a victory over the Detroit Tigers, 9-7. to seven. Uh, Astros fall to the Diamondbacks. We'll say it again. Astros, you suck. Yeah, you suck, Astros. Uh, Diamondbacks take the win, three to two. The Washington Nationals take another victory from the Atlanta Braves, winning three to one. The Pittsburgh Pirates put on a dominating performance as they beat the Chicago Cubs six to two. Cleveland Guardians able to be- beat the Cincinnati Reds, winning seven to three. Then the Chicago White Sox, Seattle Mariners played each other with the White Sox getting a six to four victory. Then we have the Los Angeles Dodgers, who played a, um, can, can we say a perfect game? No. No, we cannot. They, they played. Unfortunately. They played Unfortunately, a great game we can't say that. Where the Dodgers were able to win 7 to nothing, while Clayton Kershaw went seven innings of perfect baseball with only 80 pitches. Big mm-hmm. controversy there was. Dave, so how did he lose the perfect game? Should have, should Dave Roberts took him out of the game. Uh, do you think that that was the good call by Dave Roberts? Uh, no. Agreed. Okay. Then we have the Mets playing the Phillies. Uh, Max Scherzer is his second game as a Met, gets his second win as a Met, as the Mets go on to win 9-6. The Mets almost blew that lead as well. The Oakland Athletics beat down on the Tampa Bay Rays 4-2, which was a good game. And the Giants were able to beat the Padres, winning 2-1. Against uh, Shaw Manaya and company. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about Kershaw because my goodness, Dave Roberts. You you went on my 
On my bad list. Shit list. <laughs> my, my, my bad list. Because, I don't know, we'll talk about it more once we're done with the games. Do you, do you, do you want to do the next day? Because I, I got finished on my roof here. Yeah, that's fair. You're, you're a roofer now? I, nope. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll hop on into Thursday, April 14th. So, uh, we'll kick it off with the Yankees beating the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, yeah. 3-0. Nope. Uh, Didn't they lose that one? No, nope, they won. On Thursday. Oh, we're Thursday now. We're Thursday now. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> on Thursday, the Yankees beat the Blue Jays. 3 nothing. Severino looked like the Severino that Yankees fans know and love, which was great to see. The day after, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, absolutely demolished the Yankees, hitting three home runs, going four for four against Garrett Cole. He uh, strikes out three times, the nice golden sombrero. Struck out four times. Four times, sorry. Uh, then the Padres played the Braves, which was which I thought would be a great series to watch, as the Padres won 12-1. to one. Oh, yeah. That was an exciting season, exciting game. Exciting season. We did see Joe Musgrove pitch, which was exciting. I, I like watching him pitch. I think he's a very underrated pitcher for the National League. <laughs> uh, the Chicago Cubs played the Colorado Rockies. The Cubs were able to squeak out a win 5-2, to two, which was a good game. The Braves, not the Braves, the Dodgers played the Reds. The Dodgers took a 9-3 to three victory there. The White Sox and the Seattle Mariners played each other, and the Seattle Mariners were able to win 5-1 to one as Logan Gilbert kind of threw a very good game. I enjoyed watching him pitch. Detroit Tigers played the Kansas City Royals. Detroit won 4-2 to two in an otherwise kind of lackluster game. Angels played the Texas Rangers. The Rangers showing off their offense, really flexing hard, giving Otani his second loss of the season already as they won 10-5. to five over the angels mariners played the phillies the, the i mean the marlins played the phillies where the marlins were able to pick up a victory winning four to three sandy alcantara pitched that game he loved looked, that man he looked dominant for the most part it, it was exciting to watch him pitch the st louis cardinals went up against their uh nl central rivals they're going to be competing all year the uh brewers the brewers take a very convincing five to one victory uh, reminding the entire NL Central of why they won the division last year. The Oakland Athletics played the Tampa Bay Rays, where the Oakland Athletics won another game against the Tampa Bay Rays. And the Washington Nationals played the Pittsburgh Pirates. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and the Pittsburgh Pirates won that game. Juan Soto exists. Exists. Thank you very much. <laughs> Round of applause. O'Neill Cruz needs to be in the big leagues. <laughs> All right, you want to hit Friday? I do want to hit Friday. Let me show you how it's done. All right. The Yankees opened up against the Baltimore Orioles, and oh man, Aroldis Chapman, you suck. Hey, Aroldis, you suck. Um, the Marlins and the Phillies, the Marlins beat down those Phillies. Phillies, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. But we love the Marlins. Love the boys down south. Got around with the boys down south. Um, the Mets had their opener. They unveiled the Seaver statue, and... it was This was Jackie Robinson Day. We should, should have prefaced that. Yeah. Um, the time. Mets... Had a very good time on their home opener. They won 10 to 3. Lindor had homers from both sides of the plate. Um, Diamondbacks, come on, man. They've won two games this season. They've both been on walk offs. Come on. Well, three. But at this time, it was two. I kind of like their style. The Twins! Byron Buxton. I mean, they're he, he came out of the game with an injury. Uh, this is the most Byron Buxton thing I could have thought of. Um, hopefully, he'll only be out for a week. Um, all the stuff came back negative. It was just soreness. Um, the Pirates played the Nationals. The the, the Blue Jays won four to one against the Athletics, having a good time. Uh, Adam Simber got the win on that one. He's three and zero. How that happened? Don't know. Oh no. Adam Simber three and zero. How that happened? I don't oh, know. No. Oh. The Giants beat the Guardians four to one. I have children in my basement. Um, okay. <laughs> then we have the Rays and the White Sox. The White Sox actually won three to two. Um, this series is so boring to me, <laughs> but at the same time, the games aren't boring, I guess, because they're close, but to me, just both these teams facing each other is kind of boring. Uh, alone, they're not, but together they are. Um, the Angels finally like actually beat a team 9-6. to six. Shohei Otani had two, not one, 
two Dose. home runs. Uh, Seager got the Barry Bonds treatment. Um, they intentionally walk him with the bases loaded. Mike Trout looked distraught. Mike Trout was distraught, and they then brought in another run through a balk. Two two more runs, but one was through a balk, so that's sad. Um, the Tigers beat the Royals. Tigers having a good time. I believe it was, it was, it was, it was. Spencer Torkelson, yes. The rookie who had a huge uh, two-run homer that obviously let the Tigers win 2-1. to one. The Cardinals, their bats woke up. They won 10-1 to one over the Brewers. Good job, Cardinals. Um, the Cubs lost to the Rockies. The Rockies are the best team in baseball. Um... World Series contenders. Strowman had his first loss as a Cub. Um, heartbreaking. Yeah, I'd say that's heartbreaking. Um, he gave up five runs, so deserved, but heartbreaking. <laughs> um, the Braves beat the Padres. The Padres, um, they exist, but the Braves also exist. So you know, we I, really I, I, contrast I would those two. That, that's it, a great. Th- um, it's not crazy to say that. Kenley Jansen got his first save as a Brave, so that's fun. Adam Duvall had a two-run double that kind of won them the game. Um, the Mariners. Beat up, beat up those Astros, beat them up, beat up those Astros. Uh, three, 11 to one. Um, Astros, you suck. Um, and then the Dodgers had their first game, their home opener against the Reds, and they won three to one. Yeah, on Jackie Robinson day. On Jackie, all that was on Jackie Robinson day. Balls, balls, balls. All right, and this is our last uh, day of games that we're going to cover in today's episode. Well, uh, I'll kick it off with the Yankees uh, flexing their muscles a little bit after getting walked off, walked by the Orioles, winning five to two. The Boston Red Sox played the Minnesota Twins in Boston, and the Red Sox were able to win four nothing over the Twins. The Mets played the Diamondbacks once again. The Diamondbacks able to sneak in a win, winning three to two against the Mets. The Padres and Braves played where the Atlanta Braves were able to win 5-2. to two. Chicago Cubs played the Colorado Rockies once again, and the Rockies won 9-6. to six. Uh, The Dodgers played the Cincinnati Reds once again, and as everyone kind of expected, the Dodgers won. That was a fun game, though. It was a fun game, I'll give you that. The Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago White Sox played where the Chicago White Sox won basically 3-2 to two on a a walk-off single by Yasmani Grandal in the bottom of the sixth inning. After that, there was, like, no scoring. You just said they basically won 3-2? to two. Yeah. Well, basically. Yeah, almost. It was the score. It was 14-13, but, like, basically 3-10. to two. <laughs> <laughs> They won 3-2. to two. Uh, Again, just Michael Kopech looked very good starting. Yeah, he's been starting because, and like, the White Sox are still, what Listen. are they, 6-2? Yes. Without Lance Lynn and Lucas Giolito. Yeah. So that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. I like the it. Guardians played the Giants, where the Giants won 4-2. to two. Nothing really to talk about there. The Kansas City Royals beat the Detroit Tigers 3-1. to one. Uh, That was a good game to watch, although there was not much scoring. It just was a duel on both ends from time to time. <laughs> The Houston Astros uh, shut out the Seattle Mariners. Justin Verlander looked dominant. So he looked like Cy Young Verlander. Yeah, which is scary. And the Los Angeles Angels played the Texas Rangers, where the Angels won 7-2. Uh, Syndergaard gets the second win of the season. Again, looked promising. However, all of his stuff was not there, as Mets fans remember Syndergaard. Uh-huh. Phillies beat the boys down south, the Miami Marlins 10-3. <laughs> the St. Louis Cardinals played the Brewers, and the Cardinals squeak out a 2-1 to one victory, which uh, was very promising. Steven Matz pitched up his first win of the season. The Oakland Athletics played the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Oakland Athletics, on the back of Christian Pache, win the game 7-5 to five in another back-and-forth game with the Blue Jays and their pitching staff, which was good to see. And the Nationals played the Padres. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that was fun from that Nationals Padres game was Juan Soto hit a home run. Yes. Uh, and whenever Juan Juan Soto hits a home run, <laughs> much like Vladdy, it's always an event. Uh, so you know, how could you not love Juan Soto? Amen. All right, so that's all the games that we missed. Well, uh... well, what? What do you mean that we missed? <laughs> Those are all the games that we're now caught up on. 
There we go. How's that? There, sound? yeah, there we go. This, this, I, I, like, we know that was a lot. It's normally not going to be that much. We just both been busy. Yeah, we've been uh, dealing with some stuff off camera. But yeah. now we'll, you'll see more of. A, we, we'll do this a lot more often, so that won't be An as issue. long. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Let's we'll, talk. Let's just let's talk now. I mean, what was your favorite part so far this season? Like mine, probably. That's a tough question. Besides the Yankees. I, I don't think I was even going to say the Yankees. Mine's probably been Vladdy. Yeah. Three home runs against Garrett Cole. I mean, I know that involves the Yankees, but it's not good. Vladdy's been fun to watch. And, yeah, without a doubt. And even so far, that AL East is going to be very close. Like, yeah. the Yankees are 5-4 and four right now, and as a Yankee fan, like, I'm not happy with that. But then I look at the standings, and we're in first. We're tied with the Blue Jays. Ain't no complaints. Like, I'm not going to complain when we're in first place, you know? Yeah. Uh, One thing I liked a little bit was the White Sox. Uh, I'm happy that they're winning convincingly now. Last The last couple seasons when the White Sox have won their division and stuff, you know, that was just because they were the best out of the bunch. It wasn't so much as they were a great team and a playoff real contender. But I think this year, especially when they get Lance Lynn and Lucas Giolito back, the White Sox are going to be a team to uh, to bargain with. They're going to look a little bit more scary if they continue the pace that we're seeing them start the season off with. And with how competitive everybody on that team is, I mean, Luis Robert is healthy. Tim Anderson is back from his two-game suspension. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the White Sox show no sign of slowing down at the moment, which no. is exciting. It's great. Because um, I, I like the White Sox. I mean, the Tigers... A takeaway that I've seen is, that, like, in my opinion, I don't think they're going to be as good as everyone thinks. Yeah, I think that they're going to be good, but I they're, they're not going to be... be playoff good. Even I think they might be playoffs. worse than last year, if I'm being honest. That's that's a hot take. Is it? The Guardians. They extended Jose Ramirez. Guardians extended Jose Ramirez right before opening day. Smart. Yeah. I mean, if, if, that, if they did not get that extension done... Basically, everybody around the league was saying that Jose Ramirez was a San Diego Padre. If they, they were a deep talk, so yeah, if the deal did not get done there, but happy to see that J Ram is staying, put in in Cleveland. Um, what do you think about the St. Louis Cardinals? What do I think about? I love the St. Louis Cardinals. They I think they're fun. are exciting. Yeah. I I I think that they're going to be a team at the deadline that makes a move for a starting pitcher, and then we're seriously talking about them making it to the NLCS type of deal. The 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 Cardinals look as the Cardinals look more confident than last year. Cardinals look more well. Yeah, I mean, I think they were confident towards the end of last year. I think they had this confidence. I think the end of last year gave them this confidence. Yeah, I would completely agree with you. And then, I mean. The Dodgers, 6-2 and two to start the season. I, I feel like everybody would have bet that they would have went 8-0 and o to start their season. Mm, maybe. But, uh... They... Like that's that's the hard part. Like, it's like 8-0 and o to start the season. Very possible for this team. But, like, at the same time. Like, they had to have lost one along the way. But it's like, no. They yeah. legitimately could have won 8-0 to start they, the season. They, they could have won 20-0 and o to start the season. Yeah, they, they have the, the knack. I think they... Currently have the second highest run differential in baseball. Unfortunately, they ran into the Colorado Rockies. I mean, the yeah. Colorado Rockies six and two. Yeah. Connor Joe, I love Connor Joe now. Connor Joe, huge Connor Joe guy. I'm a huge CJ Crone guy. CJ Crone, who leads the lead in home runs. He does. Does he? He does. Does he? He does. Does he? Uh, well, he's tied for the lead yeah. with Mr. Vladimir Guerrero. With Daddy Vladdy. Um, yeah. Oh, let's talk about Stephen Kwan. Okay. The guy is nuts. He is a cashew. He's not a cashew. He's <laughs> he's Barry Bonds. Stephen Kwan. Um, he's got a 541 on base percentage. He he got a hit in like his first 15 at he got on base in like his first 15 big league at bats. It was just impossible to get him out. It took he him didn't swing and miss to like 156 pitches. 116 pitches. Well, I saw something that said that the 116th pitch was actually fouled off, like it tipped. So it's not an official swing and miss. And then he did it later in the game anyway. Aww. That's why I say 156, because I just roll with that number. Bummer. I think it's somewhere around there, but it wasn't the 116. That's fair. Because I think it was foul tipped. 
right. But even even now, I mean, 26 at bats, he's batting 385, one dot OPS, <laughs> 541 on base core. percentage, <laughs> ten hits, five RBIs. He's just at, he gets on base. I want to know how many walks he has. Eight walks this season. Um, I don't know. It's just like it's impressive. He's gonna be fun. Like no one, I don't think not a single person had this guy on their radar before the season. Maybe gar- some Guardians fans, but but to come out if this, this guy keeps hot. doing this and like he's a legitimate Rookie of the Year candidate by the end of the year, no one would have saw that coming. Yeah. That so was... if you're gonna bet on Stephen Kwan for Rookie of the Year, do it now. Like if you yeah. are gonna do that. Yeah. Get get some good good. Value just get ahead there. of the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, J Ram leads the lead in hits. What did we expect? He's batting like 484 right now. That's exciting. Uh, I think that the Guardians are not as far away as people have estimated, including ourselves, from competing. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't think that this season is their season. But and that, but they have J Ram. They extended Jose Ramirez. They have the a couple of pitchers. I mean, Shane Bieber is Shane Bieber. Cannot shy away from that. Their bullpen with Tristan McKenzie coming out of it looks looks to be on the upside. It, it's going up. I think that we're going to see them maybe compete soon, which is exciting. Obviously not this season, but if the Guardians go out there and play as well as we know they can, then there's a very convincing argument for the front office to go out and make necessary moves. Yeah, they definitely could. Will they? No. What's their record this year, the Guardians? I believe... Four and four. Okay, so they're not like... They haven't jumped out of the gate as a team, but some of those guys... I mean, Jose Ramirez leads the league in RBIs, I believe, with 14... 15. 15, which is three more than Pete Alonso, who's second, um, and Nolan Arenado, who on my screen is a picture of Jerickson Profar. I had the same problem before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's no. very odd, um, but Nolan Arenado also has 12. But, I mean, J-Ram, he's been... Like, people have... Oh, what was I going to say? Underestimating him. He's earning that extension already. Oh, and yeah. And it's, four, it's, what, eight games into the season? He's earning that extension, like, very quickly. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't even know what's going oh. on right now. It should. There Are we go. Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um... Sorry, my computer screen's going all out of whack. Um, yeah, who else? Who else do you have on your radar? I, I like, I like, um, like we said, CJ Crone. Say Suzuki has. Oh yeah. We were worried about how he'd adjust to MLB and how he'd kind of figure out pitching and stuff like that. He's done it. Okay. I, I will say he's done it. He's got ten RBIs this year. He's got. Three home runs, nine hits. He's batting four oh nine. He's got a one dot four four two OPS, um, five thirty three on base percentage. Um, I mean, he, he's 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 adjusting, and if he stays this consistent all year, oh. I mean, obviously he's not going to end with a four oh nine batting average. Well, but you like, never know. You never know. Okay, I'll, I won't say he definitely won't, but if he if he's like like this good all year, he'll he'll. I mean. Then he has Rookie of the Year locked up. Yeah. He's the favorite, so. Yeah. Um, if you want to talk about guys who jump off the page to me, I mean, I'm going to start with Justin Verlander. Uh, right now he has a .69 ERA. Nice. nice. <laughs> Woo! And it's terrifying that he looks just as good, if not better, than when he went down with the Tommy John injury. Uh, I don't know about better. It's hard to get better than Justin Verlander. I know. It's... But he's also only through two starts. Yeah, so... but he just looks so dominant. When you watch him oh, pitch... Oh, no, last night... His, his fastball is there, and all of his breaking stuff is there, and so predominant, and it just... Oh, my God. It looks like he's throwing a Frisbee. Last night was insane. I I, I was watching part of it. They couldn't touch him. Yeah. They legitimately couldn't touch him. It was crazy. Yeah, it was... And if he... Like, a lot of people, like, worry about guys coming off Tommy John and all that. I don't know if I don't think you'll have to do that for. I Berlander. think that he's an exception to the rule. Yeah, I honestly <laughs> do too. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, who who else who else kind of did their thing? Well, you want to know who didn't do their thing? J Rod. Oh. He, he um is currently leading the league in strikeouts. Well, and that's as a Marlins he's a rookie. Fan, yeah, as a Mariners fan, 
I'm going to tell you right now that I'm not at all concerned. And for any Mariners fans out there, don't be worried. He's a rookie. He wants to get his piece. He's not being patient right now. As the season goes on, we're going to see him be more patient. We're going to see him do his thing. I'm not as concerned as people are making it out to be. Yeah, he'll, he'll get adjusted. I mean, we've seen he's got speed. He's a five-school player. Uh, well, he might not have as much power as some may want, but he'll. it's the same thing as Jared Kelnick. Yeah. Why, what what did Jared Kelnick do when he came up in the show? He Didn't he bat like one like He batted under, like 140. Under 100. Yeah. Um, and now to start this year, he is batting... 140. <laughs> he's batting... Oh, God. What is he batting? Bad example. Very bad example. Well, what's he batting? He's batting 136. <laughs> <laughs> he batted 181 last year. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. They'll both be fine. Um, Just give it time. Give it time. Uh, Yankees legend Luke Voigt has been a very good piece for the Padres so far. I'm, I'm enjoying watching him play in a different situation. It's sad to see that he kind of took over 2015 All 2016 All-Star Game MVP Eric Hosmer's job for the most part, but Luke Voigt is looking dominant. And he's not just hitting for power as we, as Yankee fans, saw him do in the Bronx. He's getting the slap hit singles when he needs to drive in a run and stuff, which is exciting to watch. Hair tutorial? That was it? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Hair tutorial. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I find the Rockies really interesting this year, too. Like, Yeah, CJ Crone, the Crone Zone. They're 6-2. and two. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying watching CJ Crone. I think so, he's going to be exciting. I'm reluctant to say that they're going to like keep it up, because that's really hard. I'll say it right now. The Rockies will not lose another game this season. 160 and 2. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, eh. I mean, I'd love for them to keep it up. Um, I don't know. I just don't... Like, the Dodgers are also 6 and 2, but they're a whole different situation. I mean, they've, they've got an insane team. I mean, these Rockies guys, I don't want to say they're getting lucky, because they're not getting lucky. They're they're, they're playing they're, great ball. They're playing great ball, but I don't. We've never seen consistency from them, so I don't think it's say, I don't think it's reasonable to say that they'll be consistent because we've never seen like we've never seen it. That's fair. If they start being consistent, if the, if at the All Star break they're still somewhat close, then I'll say they have a chance. I like that idea. I like that. I like it. I like it. We I can agree. It. We can I agree. Yep. Yeah. And now the one right, Milo. <laughs> Milo's just not here, by the way. Yeah, no, Milo he's isn't here. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's gone. So, one thing that I want to mention is, I don't know how many um, Atlanta Braves games you've been watching when they play just Couple. any team. Every team is terrified of the Braves lineup. They lost Freddie Freeman and they brought in Matt Olson. Matt Olson currently, I believe, leads the lead in walks because I feel like teams did too much scouting on him. Too many people were saying probably like pitch him low pitch him away don't give him a pitch to hit and Matt Olson has a great eye he's a young guy who can get on base by any way and if he needs to take a walk he takes the walk which is exciting for that Braves lineup because although Dansby Swanson is I think tied for the lead lead in strikeouts right now sounds like Dansby yeah I think that the rest of that lineup I mean we saw Ozzy Albies hit a couple homers the other day like that that lineup, if especially if there's a runner on, I feel like they can just pile on to you. And if Matt Olson just needs to take a, like, two walks every game, I don't think Braves fans are going to be upset about that because more than likely they can get him in too. Who leads the league in walks right now? It's Matt Olson. Uh, oh right, but I meant like behind him. Yeah, Juan Soto makes sense. Of course. What do you expect? Jesse Winker. That's pretty good. He struck out a lot last year. If he's yeah. going to start walking, that's a good sign. Stephen Kwan, Voigt, Josh Bell, even though it's a picture of Seth Beer, <laughs> G-Man Choi. How about, how about Francisco Machado? <laughs> Wait, we have different lists. Yeah, for, for anybody. No, we each have like different lists. I'm looking at solo bases. Oh, okay. For anybody mine says Lindor we're, and it's we're both of... on the MLB app. Just looking at like the list of league leaders and every little stat, and, and the, the pictures, pictures are all wrong. Are wrong, yeah. Oh well, because I have Luis Lindor Robert leads the league in steals. Yeah, five. He's fast. I know he's fast. I did not. He's fast, Kramer. Kramer. 
He's but, uh, fast. No, he's good. Yeah, he's very yeah. exciting to yeah, watch. Yeah, Miles Straw. Yeah, Cody Bellinger. Yeah, Cody Bellinger sucks. So then, let's jump into it. Um, do you want to explain what we are going to be doing? Ah, show, show, show. So what we're going to be doing is we're going top three. We're going to do this new thing called p- weekly podium or podium. Podium. For whenever we're doing the episode, podium. podium. We have to say it like that. Podium. 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 Um. So basically, if you don't know how podium works, one, <laughs> two, three. Just top three, pretty much. Uh, from the AL and then top three from the NL. We have to agree. So it's who is the best player in the NL, second best player in the NL, third best player in the NL for that week or whatever series is. Um, what? If you don't know how podium works, it's a brand new segment. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So who do you who who are your candidates for the podium? Because I I I'm, I have one. We're gonna do AL first. We're gonna do AL first. All right. Well, I mean. Just to throw out names, obviously Jose Ramirez is one that jumps off the jumps off the bat, without a doubt, in my opinion. Justin Verlander, another guy who I think could be a contender to be on the podium this year. Michael Kopech, I think he could he could be up there. And how do you feel? Oh, that's I don't know why I was about to say Sandy Alcantara. <laughs> Wait, what were the two you said so far? I wasn't listening. I said Jose Ramirez, mm-hmm. and I said Justin Verlander. Those were the two I had in mind. Yeah. And then I I, I kind of want to go with Luis Robert or Robert however you want to Ro- pronounce it. I think it's Robert. Yeah, but uh, I'm just looking forward to watching him play more baseball, and that's kind of mm. me just riding the high of him. I want to say, so I agree. JV and J Ram should be on there. The one or two. Let Let's settle one or two, and then we'll argue about three. Okay, so it's tough because J Ram won. I'd say. Yes, I would agree. Because. With you. Because Verlander has had two starts, but they haven't both been eight innings pitched. I mean, Verlander, let's see. What is, what is, he started two games, but his first one was, I'd I'd love to see it, but it's not loading. Um, He started two games, but his first one was only uh, five innings pitched. So, innings restriction, whatever, shorter spring. No, I I get that, but I'm saying J-Ram, I mean, he's, Played every day. <laughs> he's got an 848, 484 batting average. He's 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 got three homers. <laughs> um, he's leading the league in RBIs. Uh, does he have any steals this year? Mm. For J. Ryan? Yeah, I don't think he does yet. But I mean, I don't know. I just I it's J. Ram. Yeah, I I can agree with you. And then another candidate who I could see... Hold the, hold the phone. Fu- hold the phone. Fu- hey, hey! Hold the phone. What? I think... What? What? You have I don't know J-Ram should be number one. His counting stats are nice. But his... His on-the-field play, I mean... There's I, one guy. I watched a couple look, of look, look who leads the league in average on-base percentage, slugging, OPS, doubles. Are we about to... <laughs> Owen Miller. Throw I mean... Owen Miller at the top. Uh, I don't know. I mean... You make the call. J-Ram's going to have a lot of opportunities. J-Ram's counting stats are nice, but Owen... I mean, Owen Miller. Owen Miller. Oh. Owen Miller. I don't know. Owen Miller, number one. No, oh, well, JV, number about, two. I don't, know about, I don't know about number one. Maybe. Whatever you want to do, I'll I'll back you on that decision. This is tough. I'm I'm just looking at looking at other stuff. Come on, Kramer. Miller. I mean, leads the league in doubles. He's second in hits. Can we please put Owen Miller at number one? We can put Owen Miller at number one. Owen Miller, you were the best player in the first eight to nine games this season. Congratulations, Mr. Miller. And then number two, JV? I'll go with Justin Verlander for number two. All right. Number three, this is the debate. This is now the easiest we can debate. one. Actually, this is the easiest one. Who? Tyler Wade. Uh, well, I love Tyler Wade. But no. um, <laughs> I think it's a debate between two Guardians players, actually, which is kind of weird to think about. And who would those be? Jose Ramirez. Okay. And Stephen Kwan. Really? Because Stephen Kwan... I would be willing to put Anthony Rizzo up there. He's An- been playing well. Anthony, R- right, but in what sense? I mean, he's had the he's had the homers, right? He, had, he homered on opening day. We saw that. He's 
that he's hitting. But this isn't average. players of the week. This is this is who best stats. Yeah, I, all I, based on stats. I think I want to say Anthony Rizzo because although he's not leading the lead or close to leading the lead in anything, he's up there in everything. Not really. I think he's doing pretty well for himself. Another contender that I thought of was Wander Franco. Has like, fourteen hits already. Uh, I love Wander. I think he's going to be great. And sure, the first couple of games of the season, he's kind of Rizzo is batting two nineteen. That's perfect. He's got a nine hundred OPS, but a Same. lot of guys do because it's the first week of the season. No, I don't think I don't think Rizzo should be up there. Fair enough. Then uh, what about Wander Franco? I I think he's doing pretty well. He's batting three seventy eight. Four RBIs, no homers yet, one stolen base with an OPS of 926 in 37 at-bats. I, I think Wander has a, a taste to be up there. He's hmm. exciting to me. This is weird. There's a lot of guys with... Because the Guardians have, like, the biggest run differential, I think, right now in baseball. Second. Or what do you third. mean second? Or third. It is third. Yeah. Third big, but they've been beating teams, so like a lot of their guys are up there in, in OPS and all that. Or do you just want to be... I like Franco. Or do you want to make this easy and just put Vladdy? Uh, Vladdy could be. Five homers. Um, He's batting. And his defense has gotten a lot better. What the hell is Vladdy's batting average? 324. He's got 10 RBIs. Defense is good. Mm, I so, think Vladdy's going to have a lot more opportunities. So, do you want to settle at Wander being third on the podium? Because Wander has looked great. I'm ve- I like I'm a- Stephen Kwan. I mean, we can put Stephen Kwan up there if you want. I would like to. Then do you want to do honorable mentions as well? Because then we can just no. throw Vladdy and Franco. No, if you're not on the fucking podium, you're not going to... No, you have to be on the fucking podium. Language. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Gotta be on the podium, dude. All right, okay. Then let- Stephen Kwan! So give me give me the podium. Podium is okay. Wow, well, yes, yeah, Stephen Kwan, maybe not. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's fine. The podium is number one. We have Owen Miller. Owen Miller, of the Cleveland Guardians. Number two, we have Justin Verlander Woo! of the Houston baseball team. And number three, we have is Stephen Kwan. Clap it up, Stephen Barry Bonds. Kwan, <laughs> walk that man with the bases loaded. No one needs Corey Seager. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the AL podium. Now we head over to the NL podium. Oh, what? you thought we were done here? <laughs> I forgot about that. Thought we were done here? Oh, uh, you have to get back. Okay, well, the NL podium, the first guy I want to nominate to put up there, Sayo Suzuki. Yeah. Can we? Well, yeah, okay, well, you can consider it. I don't think he's, I don't think he's won. Um, okay, any other? Fair enough. I got Nolan somewhere, maybe. Yeah, I would definitely say Nolan is a guy who can be up there. Bellinger. Josh and Bell. Can we do? Kidding. 2016 MV- All Star Game MVP or Cosmer? Yeah, no, absolutely not. Why? He's leading the league in doubles. No, he's not. Leading the National League in doubles. No, no, no. No. Why? No. Um. So. Something. I don't know. It's hard. There's a lot of guys. I think Trey Turner should probably be up there. Yeah. He's I mean, got a 26 game hit streak dating back to last year. Yeah. And oh. I th- was thinking about it. And I was thinking about it, and I was like, hey, if there's anyone who can beat the 56 game... It would be Trey. It would be Trey. Yeah. And I'm kind of rooting for it. I took him in fantasy, too. I'm very proud of that. I, I'm rooting for Trey Turner. To, Me, too. To I, I mean, I picked him to be MVP. I think he could do it. I'd so, love to see it. That, that's fun. Um, another guy that we obviously have to throw up here is Tyler McGill, uh, Chris Bassett, without a doubt. Chris Bassett. Both, uh, both Tyler McGill, I think, should be on. Tyler McGill. Can we settle at Tyler McGill at two? Or do you want to put him at one? Because he's been shoving. It's hard not to say one. I mean, ten, then, then I'll, I'll ten and a third innings three. pitched, 11 strikeouts, zero ERA. I will five, gladly eight, agree with you if he goes one. Let's put him at two for now. Okay, two for now. Who are the other like options? Arenado. He's going to be up there. Nolan. He's currently leading, he be up there? leading the National League in batting average. I'm kind of high on him. He's uh, he's doing pretty well this season so far, that is. Ooh, I like that. He has the highest OPS, 1.5. Yeah, let's put Arenado up there. Yeah. I think three. I think three for Arenado. Three for Arenado. And then, of course, we got to pick a one. Well, 2016 all stream MVP. No, no we should pick an actual one. Yeah. Um, ah, maybe CJ Crone. 
Really? I feel like we should do... 10 RBIs. But how, how does this sound? One, Tyler McGill. Two, Nolan Arenado. Three, Seiya Suzuki. I like Seiya, but... CJ Crone has been good, too. But he'll have more opportunity to be up there. No, I think Seiya has more of opportunity than CJ Crone. Rock, paper, scissors. Three, R- three home runs, 10 RBIs, 9 hits, 409 batting average, 1442 OPS. And then, who was the other one we were looking at? I'm sorry? Who was the other one we were looking at? Crone. Yeah, CJ, right now, so do you want to solidify our one and two as Tyler McGill, Nolan Arenado? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay. Nolan so. Arenado had four extra base hits in the first two games of the season, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I really like CJ Crone. He's got 11 hits, five homers, 10 RBIs. Well, how about we just combine batting 333. them both? Or is that Chris Bryant? That's Chris Bryant. Ah, it is. <laughs> uh, I like CJ Crone, but I'll rock, paper, scissors on it. Or do you want to do Trey Turner? Hard not to do Trey Turner. See, there's so many options in the National League. There is. But Trey it's Turner, a very coveted award to be on the podium. But I, don't, I don't think we should put Trey Turner up there because his bat, he is. I don't know. 353 batting average. Maybe These probably. stats are hard to look at because, like, he's. It's so early in the season, it's very difficult to really judge any player. Yeah. For the most part. So I think right now it's between Saya. I don't think Trey Turner should be on it. Right it's now. between Saya and who was your pick? No, it's between Saya, Crone, and... Crone. Yeah, Saya, Saya, and Crone. Do you want to rock, paper, scissors for it? Yeah, I'll rock, paper, scissors okay, for it. Okay, that's two out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Let's go! Saya right, say is ya. number three. I took the victory going rock and scissors, the usual strategy. So we, doesn't know. We got Tyler know. McGill, um, Nolan Arenado, and Saya Suzuki on podium for the NL, the first ever. So the, the total six... We, the two number ones were Owen Miller and Tyler <laughs> McGill. The two number twos were JV and Nolan yeah. Arenado. And the two number threes were... Who did you pick for number three in the AL? <laughs> Saya and... Who did we pick for number three in the NL? Oh, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Podium men. Congratulations on your first ever selection to the podium. Yeah. What else we got here? Um, okay. what, other, what other games kind of... Devers and Bogarts both declined contract extensions from the Red Sox. Oh, yeah, shit. There was news, too. Um, that's Is fun. That, that's fun. At, if you were a Red Sox fan, right, you just went out and spent all this money to bring Trevor Story into Fenway Park, right? He's looked a little lackluster to start the season... What do we think about Devers and Bogarts declining contracts? Devers, it, I mean... Devers who's, wants who's a younger? lot of money. Who's younger? Devers, right? Uh, yeah. Devers was offered money that would dwarf Trevor Story's contract, and he still declined. I think Devers wants $300 million. Which is weird, because I, when I think of Devers, I definitely don't think of $300 million. But there's definitely teams that would give him that money. I'm not saying no one would give it to him. I just... I don't know. I know. Um, if I'm a Red Sox fan, which I'm very far from, I'm worried. Oh, well, yeah. No, duh. That's like, the it's the same thing with the Yankee fans and Judge. Judge also declined his contract extension. He did. It's the same situation. It's like, But it came out this morning that Steve Cohen said that he would refuse to try to take Judge away from the Yankees. So, round of applause for Steve Cohen. Yeah, I don't believe him. I yeah, believe him. I don't believe him at all. I, think, I believe him. I think he, he would say that. And then they'd sign him the next day. Like, he'd say that... Can you stop clapping? He'd say that after the season ended, and then he'd sign him the next day. We'll see. Steve, I, Steve Cohen is a, a a witch. Okay. I'm going to believe him just because I want to see Judge continue and finish out his career in the Yankee pinstripes. I agree, but <laughs> Steve Cohen's still a witch. My point still stands. Fair enough. What? What else? Um, I don't know. What else happened? We had the... The Kenley Jansen thing last night. That was interesting. Bump wouldn't let him throw more than three warm up <laughs> pitches, so he stood in front of the plate. At that point, I would have just thrown the ball at the umpire. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else did we have? Like, what, what about are... the the Mets are like leading the league in hit by pitches by a very large okay, margin? No, that doesn't count. What? It's just because they played the the Phillies, the Phillies and the Nationals. Oh no, the Nationals, not the Phillies. 
Yeah, that's the only reason. It's because the Nationals just kept hitting him. Yeah. Sean Murphy has... Sean Murphy got his cake. His bakery, it, it should be wide open. Damn, Sean Murphy be like... <laughs> oh my god. Busting it down one time for the one time. But that's what, me, that's what Sean Murphy be like. Uh, if you didn't see the clip, ball bounced right off Sean Murphy's butt. That thing, it, it bounced. It actually knocked it, the it earth off. It made it look off. like a wall ball. Oh my goodness. It actually knocked the earth off of its axis. <laughs> <laughs> um, but all in all, baseball's back. Baseball is fun. Can wait, we agree on that? Yes. I'm trying to think of what else happened. Uh, think about all your todays in baseball. If you haven't checked those out, by the way, go check them out. Those TikTok, are... Instagram, go check it out. Link in the, the We've the also bio. been doing mic'd up blitz ball, which has been fun. Yes. Um, Astro City Connects. Those are nice. Oh, yeah, I, I like them. I, think, I like them, but I think they, they could have done more. Is it crazy to say that I think that they're a top three City Connect jersey? And I yes, only say that. that is that crazy. I literally, it shot up for me when I saw the patch that said, Houston, the Eagle has landed. I love that patch. I like that. I hope I that there's that, like a, a. I don't think that's big enough. To I hope that there's a card me. that just has that patch in it, like a tops card, because I would buy that. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Oh, Chris Paddock to the, the the twins. The twins, and he called the Padres uniform UPS uniforms. Yeah, um, that was funny. Uh, the twins, I mean the the uh, Padres got back Taylor Rogers. Pretty cool. Um, for the first time in his career, Joey Votto pop, pop, popped out to the pitcher. Who would have thunk? Not me. Thirty-eight year old Joey Votto finally pops out to the pitcher. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Joey. Votto. How old is Joey Votto? 38. Hello. Jeez. That's crazy. He has a yeah. TikTok. His TikTok is probably the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, go check out his Instagram and TikTok. It's the I think it's the best content on baseball besides normal baseball that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all in all, it's Cubs exciting. and Brewers exchanged some words. After getting like hit the hit by pitches, yeah, a little bit of a, a Keegan friendly Thompson banter. Thompson got suspended for three games. Friendly banter, <laughs> friendly banter. The bench throwing a ninety-five mile an hour pitch at yeah, someone. Friendly banter. Um, Brett Phillips pitched. <laughs> that was that was probably that was probably my my lowest point in my entire life. <laughs> So what did Brett Phillips do? <laughs> Brett Phillips pitched. Um, he also last night and la- yesterday with the White Sox Rays series, he s- took a home run away from Yasmani Grandal. Um, is it safe to say that Brett Phillips is better than Shohei Otani? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can that can that yes, be a TikTok Brett... clip, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if the mic picked it up. Um, yeah, Brett Phillips is better than Shohei Otani. There's no doubt about it. Um, <laughs> What? Be careful. He is. <laughs> I'm saying for your voice. <laughs> um, he pitched. Brett Phillips pitched. <laughs> um, also that 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 story with the cancer girl. He oh, gave, he oh. gave her the bracelet and all those like things. And then he had a home run. Yeah, that and was, he was sweet. Like, yeah, Brett Phillips, man of the people. The game. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, baseball. Baseball's back. Um, next episode is gonna be a lot more structured than this, um, yeah. because we'll have more. Pre- like we will, we'll know more about what's going on. Yeah, we're kind Not, of uh, okay. That was a bad way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're gonna like now that we've done an episode of the season because this is the first time we've ever done an episode of ga- while games were going on. Um, we're gonna know how we're gonna structure it a little better. Yeah, you know, um, it'll be more uniform. Yeah, uh, our one last thing before we get out of here is we're gonna do a homer draft. Okay. So, from this episode to the next episode, we're going to pick two players each who's going to hit a home run. Okay. And if uh, however many home runs is however many points. Fair enough. Do so, you want to agree one AL, one NL? Okay, we'll do one AL, and one NL. All right, this is how we're going to decide. Rock, paper, scissors again? No, 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 no. Um, if this shoe lands on like this. Okay. I pick first. Wait, but don't Air Forces always land right side up? But, well, let's let's test it. And if, the, if it lands <laughs> on the other side, then you pick first. Ready? Ready? Do you want to just do... 
I picked it first. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't let. Okay, so... Alright, um, who are you picking then? Fuck! I'm going to go with the obvious. I think Mike Trout is going to have a very good, good next couple of couple of series. Okay. Who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with... Vladdy. Alright, I'll give you the snake. Come on, take your own out. Snake? Soto. Soto? Fair enough. I'm going to go with Pete Alonso. Ew, Pete Alonso. <laughs> By the way, we're going to the Mets team on Monday night. Oh, that, so that's why you picked him. Imagine, yeah. imagine you catch a home run ball from him. Oh, it's destined. Hey, TikTok. By the way, Alex, this is. If this happens, that'll be funny. I will go onto the field. I will run up. I will shake on that. We're if also... you catch a Pete Alonso home run on Monday night. I will run onto the field. Does it have to? Can it be batting practice home run? No, it has to be during the game. Okay, and by the way, for anybody wondering, we're all going to be wearing costumes. Hopefully, t- hopefully. So uh, be on the lookout for a bunch of idiots trying to catch a Pete Alonso home run. Yes, be on the lookout. Um, all right, I think that should do it. That should do it. Milo, let's season. go, Milo. Let's go, Milo. Let's go, Milo. What were you saying? The 2022 season has begun, and we're here to do it all. Yes, we cannot wait. Hopefully, uh, we thank you for 10K on TikTok. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be doing this all season. We're going to have fun time um, towards the end of August. And like after then, it's going to be a little different. It might be a little different. I'm not sure yet. Uh, that, that involves me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that should do it for this episode of Normal Baseball. Um, we'll see you probably in probably four Thursday, days. Wednesday, Thursday. Let's do, let's do record Wednesday, re- release a Thursday. Yeah. 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 All right. That should do it. Um, we four will days. see you next time. Let's go Milo. Let's go Milo. Let's go Milo. I hit the wrong button. Ah! <laughs>